So we're really excited to be here, and I think, you know, Jason said it really well. We've talked a lot about the idea of storytelling or story starting and brands, and I think one of the things that really excited us about being here today is um, the approach that Marriott's taken and that we as an agency has, has helped to enable in our small way um, to bring the brand ethos and culture to life through stories, through content, and through utility. And I think Robin will speak to this a lot better than I can, how that's a way to reach travelers who are looking for information, for ways to understand what's out there, and then discovering the brand behind it, and how powerful that can be. So we've got some slides for you. Uh, I think we've got some yes, video too. Absolutely. So it should be pretty cool. And I also think, Robin, if you could talk a little bit about what's unique about your background when we're like a room full of marketers, many of us may have gone to school through like a very traditional kind of advertising program or whatever, but that wasn't your path. And I think that's part of the power of what you bring to the table. Absolutely. Um, just to kind of give a little bit of the origin story of Traveler, um, it started as a proof of concept. Um, <laughs> Uh, basically, Marriott wanted to find a way to shift and lift the perception of the brand and reach um, a millennial audience. Um, and this was a, a brainchild that came out of our um, creative and content marketing group. Um, and in thinking about that, um, they really wanted to create an authentic publication, um, something that would really resonate with that audience. Um, and Part of bringing this to life was also bringing on people who could um, then bring, bring this to life um, and have that background in publishing and in ed editorial. And you know, that is where I kind of come into play here. Um, my background is as a journalist. I'm a, a trained journalist. I went to journalism school, worked for years at US News and World Report magazine, um, was an editor at various publications, um, and uh, was at Discovery um, as an editorial director for about 12 years, uh, working on its digital um, sites. So um, all of that and, and having an absolute love of travel um, brought me to this place. And with that, I'll just kind of take you guys through a few uh, slides um, about Traveler and who we are. Um, you know, as I said, you know, it came to be as kind of a proof of concept. Um, and what we really were trying to do with this content was really to inspire. Um, Marriott is not just um, trying to be the world's largest hotel company. They want to be the world's largest travel company, period. Um, and they want to be a part of that traveler's journey from start to finish. Um, and one way to do that is to inspire people to want to travel. Um, and so our content is meant to do that. Um, you know, we're delivering stories um, around uh, all those things that inspire you, whether that's food, whether that's culture, et cetera. So that's what this is designed to do. It's also designed to inform. It's also to tell you, here are the places to hit. We know this because we've gotten these great local writers. Um, and we know this because, you know, Marriott itself has expertise in these places. Um, and then just to connect back, um, connect these stories back to the brands in some relevant way. And I think one of the things that's, that's powerful about this, um, as Robin said, it's the fact that in exchange for the attention that somebody's giving to actually look at this content, to experience it, they're getting information that's actually going to be beneficial to them. And it seems obvious, but so much of what we do uh, as brands or as marketers actually doesn't have that kind of exchange. And that, to me, is one of the most valuable exchanges you can have. Absolutely. Um, and so the objectives of this content, as I mentioned, are you know, really to inspire um, travelers. Um, but then we're also trying to build a community, um, not just of travelers, but also a community within Marriott. Um, we're trying to create kind of a network of, of sites. We've created what I like to call a digital platform that gives brands a place to tell their stories. Um, you know, some, most of our brand sites are transactional, mostly, right? It's, it's really to drive people to book. There might be some additional information. Um, but what Traveler is designed to do is to give you know, brands and properties um, a place to talk more in depth about um, the places where their properties are, to talk more in depth about uh, the people on property, um, and to draw people in uh, to ultimately, hopefully, book. Um, at these places, and that's where commerce comes in. Um, initially, that wasn't a really 
um, big goal for Traveler. It was really about the inspiration. But obviously, you know, once you get someone there, you want, you want them to do something. That you, we want to inspire them to actually carry through with their mission. Um, and so at the end of each of our stories, we have a where to stay box where we have links um, that drive people back to you know, relevant properties um, you know, related to those stories or destinations that we're covering. And we're finding people are doing just that. They're clicking on those. It's driving revenue. Um, and this is just kind of our mission statement. Um, you know, Marriott is a travel company, and it's what we do, and it's what we love to do. Um, and we suspect that's what other travelers, you know, love about travel. They want to get out into the world, and they want to experience it, and they want to have these authentic experiences, and that's why we travel too. Um, and so we want to share in that with you and bring those stories to you through the people that live in these destinations, you know, through the destinations themselves, um, and, you know, just kind of bring those places to life um, through the people and the things to do in those places. So we're telling all those stories. Um, and this is kind of our, our role within Marriott. Um, we are, you know, within an agency. We're in uh, Marriott's creative and content marketing agency. So brands will come to us and want us to help them tell stories. Um, so our role is to help strategize, you know, find out what is your story? What do you want to impart to your audience? Who is your audience? Um, and then go about the business of creating that content um, helping to distribute that content through whatever channels we may have internally or externally by working with MEC um, and just acting as a real a partner with them. Um, our areas of focus, as I mentioned, are people. When we talk about people, we're talking about not just people within those destinations, like you know the cool artist, you know street artist, or the cool you know bartender in that neighborhood. But we're also talking about um, married associates. You know, we have chefs who uh, have been on Top Chef. We have, you know, chefs who may not be that celebrated, that are cool, that know a whole lot about the places that they live. So we profile them. We pro profile those bartenders and concierges that bring those stories to life. Um, the places, obviously. Um, and then the properties themselves have stories, uh, whether that's a design story to tell, um, anything else unique about them. Those are the things that we're talking about um, on yeah, Travel. And one of the, the cool things about this is you end up with a stream of really rich content that people are engaging with and they're, they're really inspired by. And when it comes to what we do to get that out there, to distribute it, um, the data that comes out of that ends up informing things that we might do that aren't necessarily traveler content at all. Um, because we can understand that somebody, you know, uh, if it's a video, did they complete it, right? And if we have a whole group of people who did that, that's somebody who's really ripe for content that might be more specific to a particular location and to kind of pull them down that funnel. Um, so by having this rich bed of great content, it allows you to then go down into the how do you get to a conversion at the end of the day. And when you get that question about what's the ROI of, you know, brand as publisher? What's, you know, I don't see where the benefit is. It's in a lot of places, as Robin pointed out in the articles themselves, the ability to actually you know, book eventually from the article, but also from what you reach people with after they've been exposed to this great content and in a sense raised their hand and said, I'm interested mm -hmm. in this kind. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, we were talking about um, telling the stories of the properties and the people. Um, one way we do that is through franchises that we've created on Traveler. Um, one of those, we talked about the chefs. Chefs You Should Know is one of those um, where we do kind of a deeper dive and profile um, these chefs. Um, we've done this, you know, primarily, you know, through, you know, text interviews that we, we've done. Behind the Design is another one where we, again, go and tell the story about, you know, specific um, aspects of a design um, within a, a property or just design in general about, you know, um, we did a piece about um, sleep you know, and, and how rooms are designed to encourage people to get a good night's rest. By the way, one of my favorite things at the headquarters is that downstairs area. Yes. So there's a, if you ever go and you're lucky enough to go to Marriott HQ in Bethesda, 
there's a whole area with rooms that are prototype rooms or rooms that are gonna be in production mm -hmm. that you can just check out and see, and often it's in collaboration with designers. Yes. And the science behind designing these rooms mm -hmm. is mind blowing. Yeah. And bringing that kind of thing to life for people to see, one of the things that's, that, that I find inspiring about a lot of stories, and I'm sure you see this as, as somebody with a journalist background, people like to know how things yeah. are done. And how if you can, made. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's a great example of how that really gets people interested. And then it reinforces the idea that the customers are the center of everything Marriott does. So there's that subtle message that comes through there. So if you ever get to Bethesda, try to get into the downstairs <laughs> yes. area. It's super cool. Happy to take you on a tour. <laughs> um, mixing it up is around the bartender scene. Um, and then, you know, Marriott just, you know, has access to celebrities. Um, through various events that brands might do, um, through our buzz marketing uh, program. And so whenever we have the opportunity to do so, we're then uh, capitalizing on that and hoping to, again, amplify what a property is doing, amplify you know, what a brand might be doing uh, through these interviews. Um, and so what we like to do with these franchises is you know, not just write the article, but think about all the different ways that we can then tell this story. Um, behind the design is a good example in that we have, you know, written a number of stories, but we also have a podcast that we just started. Um, we're only three episodes in, but, you know, we have an opportunity to do a deeper dive. You know, we've picked subjects like the hotel lobby. What is the origin of the hotel lobby? Why is it designed the way it is? How has it evolved over time? We bring in designers from Marriott to talk about, you know, that experience. Um, We've talked about bathrooms. You know, people are extremely, you know, you know, uh, really interested in, you know, why is the bathroom designed this way, and why can't I have my bathroom look like this at home? <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, so, and then taking that through, we're um, looking at. We have a partnership that we're working on with Harper Collins. So, why not um, then take design into book form, right? So, uh, maybe chairs or art or whatever in these different properties, and that becomes kind of a coffee table book, etc. Um, video is obvious. Um, and then, you know, who knows? How can we spin this out into a web series or something that, you know, could potentially be on air? Um, so, you know, we're, we're constantly thinking about with all that, with all of these things that we do to, um, you know, continue to bring out the message. Um, since we're here at Mobilenomics, I thought I'd put in some slides about, about what we're doing in the mobile space. Um, we are part of the Marriott app. Um, recently, the app was redesigned, I would say earlier this year. Um, initially, the app was really just booking. You go there, you put in where you want to go, you know, you're done. You might get some alerts about, uh, you know, when your upcoming stay and that kind of thing. But they really have um, evolved the app to really take people along the entire journey. So once you've booked, you know, you might then um, get some more information about things to do in the places um, that you've booked. And so they've added um, these stories, Marriott Traveler stories to the app. We're seeing a lot of traction from them. Um, we've seen like a 30% lift in the articles that they featured within the app. Um, and think about the convenience of having that in your mobile device so that when you're in a location and you're trying to figure out, I've got some downtime, what do I do? There's this great archive of stories that you can kind of look at and get really creative inspiration for what you do while you're there. If anybody here stays at, at Marriott, uh, any of the properties, I highly recommend downloading the app. It's, it's really a terrific it's app. It's pretty useful. Um, and the other piece of this is, um, this is really kind of only launched in the last couple of months. Um, uh, the Merit Rewards team has um, worked with Facebook to create um, a messenger experience, um, and they're playing with chatbots. So, you know, ultimately, you can go into Facebook Messenger um, and say, hey, I want to stay, you know, at a property. You can book with through the chatbot. The chatbot then kind of gives you some more advice and things to do, et cetera. So traveler articles have been included in that as well. Um, so. Um, bringing added value to people who are already engaged with the brand um, and capturing them wherever they are. So that's kind of next level customer service right there for you. So um, uh, the next piece of this is to even do some more deeper linking into traveler articles and really kind of put some paid social. I think the, the thinking is um, 
showcasing traveler articles as the entry point um, for Messenger. So people see an interesting article about you know, Chicago, and hey, this might be a place I want to go. You click through, um, and then you get some more messaging about how you can book through Messenger. And for those of us who were at the roundtable yesterday, this should make sense to you, right? Because we talked about how so much engagement that used to happen out in the open and in social platforms has now moved to things like Messenger where there's more of that one-on-one. -on -one. So it's a great way to take the, you know, somebody's been exposed to an article, they found it really interesting, they may not necessarily share it, but if there's something that gets them into Messenger to actually take an action or to actually subscribe to get more articles like that, it, it's likely that they may do that rather than share it out. Yeah. Um, and then I just wanted to kind of talk about um, a relationship that we've developed through MEC, which is with Flipboard. Um, I think we already had an affinity uh, for Flipboard, um, and we had created a magazine um, on Flipboard with Traveler Articles. Um, we just really liked that app and kind of how it allows you to spend time with stories. Um, and we like the quality of the stories that you find there, you know, and it just is kind of this great, um, I don't want to say lean back experience, but this is kind of the thing you use on Sunday to sit back and like read all of the articles that you wanted to save, you know, over the course of the, re the week. Um, and so we liked kind of being in that environment and thought um, our articles played well there, and they do play very well um, in, in that storytelling kind of environment. Um, and so we've developed some other things with them. They've built out things called collections um, that we do through paid media buys um, uh, through MEC. So we've just seen some really great results. We've seen over, you know, 2% higher engagement with our stories reflips and shares and things of that nature. And then also strong click through, you know, over 200%, you know, increase in, in, the, in the performance of our stories um, that are on Flipboard. So it's been pretty cool. Yeah, and I'd add with Flipboard, if you think about the audience that's really highly engaged on Flipboard, they're the perfect audience for Traveler and actually for Marriott itself. Uh, they tend to be um, a little bit wealthier. They tend to really be interested in design and style. Um, so it really hits that sweet spot and helps to really position Traveler and therefore Marriott's brands to that audience in a really special way. Um, I'm just going to breeze through these was as time ticks down. But basically, um, we have developed a number of content partnerships um, that helps drive traffic for us. Um, Flipboard being one of those. Um, this is a look at some of our performance. I think what we're most proud of is, you know, we started back in 2015 and, you know, we've just kind of blown up. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it was unexpected. I mean, I think we did do some things in terms of paid and, and, and um, with the brand support and property support and loyalty support, you know, we've been able to get to these numbers. Um, and about 60% of our traffic is from mobile. That's where people are really um, accessing our content. Um, you know, again, more numbers about who, who is there. We're trying to reach this millennial audience. We're about 30% there. Um, people are really spending a lot of time with our stuff, which, which, we, which we really like. And see. don't let people tell you that millennials yeah. will only look at short form because yeah. it's just not true. Um, and this has led us to, um, being the world's, you know, most popular online travel magazine. Um, we've looked at Comscore, we've looked at, you know, what other hotel industry sites are doing, um, and we've compared ourselves. And um, within two short years, you know, we really are outperforming them um, from a traffic perspective. So um, it's really exciting. <laughs>